What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I was actually a um suddenly just one because I know I'm a little bit late to this, but but wait for it. Wait for it. Just wait a little bit longer. It's like finally we finally got something from SH Monster Arts. Their Godzilla Evolve figure has been released and everything else. Or announced. I should say announced. But I'm too excited and everything else. I was not even expecting to do this video. But somebody told me, no, you want to do a video on this. You want to show your, um, everybody. All right, sorry about that. My camera um, turned off and everything else, but everything's fine now. I got on a charger, um, so we are back. So welcome back after that um, short um, intervention. So now, like I was saying, somebody was telling me to check this out. Do it on camera. For some reason, he said, your audience would love to see this and would love to see your expression on seeing this new figure. And it was kind of like, okay, why would that be? They wouldn't answer. They just said, I'll help you out. I'll set it up and everything and have everything set up for you. So all you have to do is just get the camera ready and it'll be right there. So I decided to go with it. So that's why we are here. That is why this video is being made. And everything else. So out of that and everything else, but I do have um, a water right here. I got, we got to stay hydrated. Granted, I would like to add a soda or um, some sweet tea, but water is a little bit better. So um, go get you a drink, some um, snacks, go get you some popcorn, whatever you want. Go get it now before we start and everything else. And if you get something good, let me know so I so we can share and everything else maybe. <laughs> no, I'm just playing with y'all. But um, I hope everybody's having themselves a great day, night, or whatever time you are watching this. So... Let out of the intro, let's go on and get started. So right here we have Godzilla Evolve and looks real good. I mean, I don't know what else to say. I don't even know why he wanted me to do Go on. You said he didn't want to be on camera. He's just standing at the doorway just watching me for some reason, but okay. But um, yeah, right here and everything we see, we don't. Don't really, I kind of can see that right there, the forearm spike. I mean, we got the pink going on right here under his eye and above his eye. We got the middle spike um, being um, pink as well. I mean, I do like the how they got the white tips on there. Looks good. It's really popping. But, I mean, I don't even know why I said but. I mean, um, everything looks good. I mean, let's go on and continue. As far as I know, this is the first image. So, okay, so it was because of how the um, thing was. So we're going to forget we saw that. Because how the um, thing went from side to side like that. So here we're going and went fast. So that tells us that was the first. So this is actually the next photo. And it's actually just a full body of one photo one. So everything looks good. The tail looks good. We got the... Um, I'm going to butcher the name. I'm going to try and say it, though. The Fagomizers. Hopefully I said that right. And everything else, hang on. Try and get y'all a little bit better, or get me on camera a little bit better, because I'm in this corner and everything. But, I mean, everything looks good. We got um, the toenails got color. We got this um, green or caramel um, dry brush going on. Everything looks good. I mean... I wish we had a good photo of like close up to the face, but that's probably later on. We'll probably get that, so we're going to move on. We have the jumping pose, okay? This is him jumping in the water from off of the cliff. I kind of see an issue, though. It does not look like he's going to be able to look straight up, and I do have my Godzilla 2019 right here. I was kind of looking at that and going to a parrot, but right here... He can look um, straight ahead when swimming or just looking straight up. And this one apparently cannot. He cannot look up or anything. And it's mostly because of... Now, I heard about this. I didn't know through some grapevines and everything. 
the neck parts are not like what they were doing where the neck pieces were going inside the um, joints. This time it's like high as Godzilla being on the being on the outside. So that kind of makes it where he's not going to be able to probably look straight up or look straight ahead when in a pose like this. But I can see this hand and this hand does look different, so we do have um, swappable hands. So far, everything looks good, though. Other than the neck part, can't, not able to look straight up. But, I mean, look at this photo right here. If you could take this photo and put it beside the movie with him running, it looks spot on. Everything looks spot on so far, and we do have this forearm spikes. Everything looks good. I mean, I'm, I'm very impressed. And this is um a I'm I'm about to put the two words the two names together S H Monster Arts and most times they do get do good get jobs on their stuff. Don't know why I'm stuttering so much. I guess because of all the excitement. We've been waiting a while to hear from this, and it's finally here. We got probably a good ways to wait for it to be in hand, but it's here. So we got him and got him out of the ice. So we do have the post. I'm cut. We do have something new here. I just noticed this right here that is not on, hang on, is it? No. So this is almost like what Kong has, like a floating piece right here for him to have like his legs to go outwards, I think. I'm not sure. I see the slit right here or the cut right here for the thighs. So that is probably going to make it where it can do other poses. That the, um, these ones cannot. So, but yeah, so far, like I said, if they if that neck was not like that, he would be looking up more, like in the film, probably. But the tail does look like it can hold its weight up there. That is something that the others fail to kind of do sometimes. Yeah. It, yeah, it doesn't. So I'm glad. I'm glad to see that. Hopefully, that is like that in hand. Gonna move on. We got this other scene. So he does. He kind of does look up, but this is at a different angle. We gotta remember that. But I do see something that we do not really have, or do we? Okay, so we, it is on here. I kind of thought when I just noticed this right here. Look at this spot right here across the chest. There is a cut right here. For him to kind of move up and down. And right here for the ab crunch. For him to look up and down. And everything. But I don't know how good this is showing up. But this one does not. It does right here but it's inside of it. That makes it where he can't look. Go down forwards or anything. But a little bit. Or on the chest piece right here. As y'all can see, it is wiggling a bit. But um, other than that, that does look pretty good and everything. So yeah, right here, I, find, I got it. Like right here where he's moving up and down is right there, right here on there. But everything else looks good. I, what, I'm glad to see that. So that is going to come into an effect. Because of the neck issue right here, so you can see it's outwards instead of being inside of this piece. So that's probably why they went on and did it on the outside right here. So this can go down further and this one can go down or back further for him to look up and try to get straight as he can. And I don't know if I said something about the nails, but the nails are painted. Unlike these ones right here where they didn't really get no color. But... Everything looks good. Right here looks pretty cool. This looks like the other photo, but like I said, the tail's right here. We do have a nice curve going on. So that that this I am actually impressed. This looks amazing. Everything's just like popping out at you while you're looking at. It. That's why I'm so focused on these photos and everything because and even like this, we can see closer to his face. And everything, we got the pink going on right here to the eyebrow and a little bit like right here. We see the mouth and everything. I mean, everything just pops. Like I said, right here, here's the cut right here going down to the chest. 
And that looks like, as you can see, the gap right here does go back and forth. And right here we have a gap, so this one will come back further or go forwards. And this is probably as far as he's going to be able to go down or not. I don't know. These are just photos. It's not in hand yet. But yeah, everything looks pretty good. And I'm impressed. So, good job, um, Monster Arts. Or SH Monster Arts, I should say. So, what are we looking at and price? <coughs> Ain't no way. It's like, damn! Um, but, but, yeah. I hope everybody enjoyed the video and everything else. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I hope to see everybody next time.